Hello, it's Mary Terry. I wanted to show you my sea of scissors. Um, most of them have caddies and I made my caddies out of um, either a, a, um, a paper towel roll or uh, sometimes I use a toilet tissue rolls. But I put them all in caddies because I like to have them on the couch with me. I like to have them on the table with me. I don't want them more on my table. I don't want to stick myself at the point. I want the points to stay short. Um, many, many reasons to protect them. Also, I can find them a lot easier on my table if I put them back in their caddy after I get done using them before I need to use them again. And I just wanted to go kind of go through and show you what I had here. This is just my most like used scissors. Um, these are, of course, uh, decorated with Tim Holtz paper and a Tim Holtz tiny attacher and this is a Tim Holtz pair of ranger scissors there's Tim's name right there and these are the ones that are serrated and also they are non-stick so they work really well for lots of things this is not the best ca camera angle I do apologize for that um, I'm kind of filming on my bed here but these are called um, Sonic, I believe, or I, 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 uh, Tonic, excuse me, they're Tonics. So I like these scissors a lot, and they fit really nicely into their little holder. I'll show you here. Um, the, you, know, you put the plastic thing back on, and then it has a really nice snug fit into the caddy. And it's just a pretty thing to have around, and it protects my scissors, and it helps me find them. I also purchased a set of these Fiskars non-stick scissors, and I have a pair that I keep in my bedroom, in the craft room, and in the living room. Um, and again, I just took toilet uh, a toilet roll and put pattern paper over it and some ribbon and now I have a nice little caddy for my scissors and they really do fit in there pretty snug if I get it in the right way and it shouldn't fall out they don't so it's a nice way to find your stuff your scissors especially if you lose them like I do I have another pair of the Fiskars here and this is the first one that I ever made um, you can see you just take the toilet tissue um, roll and squish it down, put your scissors in it, put glue on either side so that it kind of molds to the to the, uh, the shape of the scissors so that they don't fall out when you turn them upside down. Well, that one did. <laughs> oh well. Um, you get the idea. Um, so I have three pairs of the Fispers non-stick. Here's another one that I made. And you can make these any way you want. I just thought it's a fun project. It's a way to recycle some of your stuff. This one was definitely a toilet paper one. I mean, excuse me, a paper towel one because it's very long. These are nice scissors. These are titanium. I think they're made by Westcott. Yeah. These are really sharp and really good for paper. And I call them my ultimates. I had this banner. I don't know. Decided to put it on there. Um, I have a smaller pair of the same scissors. They're the Westcott Titanium. Supposedly sharper for longer. Um, don't know if that's true or not. I haven't had them very long. I even made a little caddy for my one of my bone folders because I had one like this and the point broke off. So this way it doesn't do that when it's kind of stuck in the bottom of a uh, you know, a cup where I keep it in the living room or in my craft room. So that's that one. Um, I also have these scissors, which I like a lot, which are Scotch brand. They're just a Scotch brand red handle with the gray, but they're really nice and sharp. And I seem to go to these quite often. And I made this little caddy for this one. Um, as you can see it right here. I'm sorry, I'm totally out of the camera here. But I just used some washi tape, and it wasn't really washi tape, it was like plastic tape. I think it was Scotch brand um, transparent tape over some pattern paper that I glued down on top of a toilet tissue roll. I even made one, I was watching Josie today, and she was talking about the only scissors she could find on her table were her little um, nail scissors. So 
I even keep, made one for my nail scissors with some fuzzy stuff on the bottom just because it feels good. And it's just nice. It protects your scissors. And then I got Rich as a joke this Christmas a pair of his own scissors because um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I like to use my own scissors and I don't want anyone else using them because they cut different things with them than I would. So I made him sort of a masculine um, nautical theme uh, caddy for his and I gave him some Santa Claus scissors, but they're nice scissors. They're Westcott's and they're sharp and he's enjoying them very much. So I hope this gives you an idea of what you could do to recycle your um, toilet tissue rolls or your paper towel rolls like this. Um, just squinch them down, you know, cut them down like this and then cut them off where you want the, where you want to cut them. So the length of the scissors so that the tops are sticking out, something like this, okay? And then just mold the glue into the sides so that the scissors stay in really nicely for you. And don't get marred up or mar your table, and you can find them a lot easier when they're in colorful patterns like this. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry it's kind of shaky and weird, but um, I got a new phone. I got an iPhone 6. And I don't have a holder for it yet for my tripod, so this is the best I could do. So my scissor collection that I use often. And I hope you are all doing very well and having a lovely Sunday. I start a new job tomorrow, so I'm kind of nervous, but kind of excited. And um, looking forward to getting back to work. I've been off for a bit, and uh, so I'm excited. Talk to you all soon. Thanks.